When Victor Oladipo first got traded to Indianapolis, he was seen as a player who had never reached his full potential and was destined to be a decent role player for the rest of his career. Nobody thought he would be the kind of guy to make all-star teams and hit game winners. That was until he started making all-star teams and hitting game winners. So let's take a look back on Victor Oladipo's time with the Indiana Pacers. But I'm a Hoosier, <laughs> living, living, breeding, anywhere you can imagine, I'm a Hoosier. Victor Oladipo was dealt to Indy in one of the more infamous trades in recent memory. A trade that was seen as laughably bad for the Pacers. Oh! Oh, we only had to give up Victor Oladipo and some random person on our bench who kind of sucked anyways? Awesome! I didn't know robbery was legal in Oklahoma! Giving up franchise great Paul George for 25-year-old Victor Oladipo, who had not lived up to his expectations as a second overall pick back in 2013, and DeMontis Sabonis, who was another failed first round pick and was seen as no more than a throw-in. Fans all across the NBA made fun of the Pacers. This, okay, so who the fuck they traded for? They traded for Hola Depot and Sabrinas? Sabina? Sabrina, what the fucking name is? Pacers fans themselves were very unhappy with the trade. But Victor Oladipo was happy to return to the same state where he had played his college basketball. And soon Oladipo would win over the whole state of Indiana. Oladipo would have a huge transformation that offseason, putting on a noticeable amount of muscle and improving his overall game. In his first regular season game as a Pacer, Oladipo would put up 22 points and 4 steals on 50% from the field in an opening night win over the Brooklyn Nets. A few games later, he would drop 28 points in back-to-back -back wins, shooting 50% from 3-point range. But he would put up his best scoring display against his former team, scoring 35 points on great efficiency in a loss to the Thunder. And then the very next night, he would end up hitting a game winner over LaMarcus Aldridge to beat the San Antonio Spurs. Victor Oladipo, yeah, he said this is his city. He is back home. At the end of October, the Pacers were 3-3, three three. but Victor Oladipo was averaging over 20 points per game and almost two steals per game. People started to realize that Oladipo might be a legitimate star for the Pacers. November was much of the same, with 10 games of 20 points or more for Victor Oladipo, and the Pacers were in playoff contention. But December would be Oladipo's best month of the whole year, averaging 28 points and 1.8 steals on 40% from three and 50% from the field during the month of December. That month also included a career-high 47-point game against the Denver Nuggets and four other games where he would have 30 or more points. And that's basically how the rest of his season went. Oladipo had several 30-point games and would make his first NBA All-Star game, leading the Pacers to a 48-34 and record. Oladipo would finish the season leading the NBA in steals, made an all-defensive team, and all-NBA team, along with winning the Most Improved Player Award. 18 Kia NBA Most Improved Player is... Who is it, who is it, who is it? Oh! Victor Oladipo! Oladipo. <laughs> and showing off some of his singing abilities at the NBA Awards show. Let me not, let me not go. <clears throat> it took four years, three months, two weeks, and a Sunday for you to love me Monday. All it took was one day for me to love you. Four years, three months, two weeks, and a Sunday for you to love me Monday. All right, all right. The Pacers would have an incredibly competitive seven-game series with the Cavs and LeBron. The Pacers would end up losing, but Oladipo would average 22 points, 2.4 steals, 6 assists, and 8 rebounds on 40% shooting from both 3-point range and the field. With the 2017-2018 season ending on a strong note for Oladipo, most people expected the same in 18-19. And that's what they got. Oladipo did take a step back statistically, but the Pacers as a team were one of the best in the league. The Pacers were a top three team in the East going into January. 
And going into January 23rd of 2019, the Pacers had a record of 31 and 15. But this one game against the Toronto Raptors would leave Pacers fans everywhere in shock. On a fast break, Victor Oladipo would try and chase down Pascal Siakam and fell awkwardly. He would need to be stretchered off the court and would later be diagnosed with a blown out knee. He would miss the rest of the year. Oladipo would still be named to the All-Star team that season, but the Pacers would be swept by the Celtics in the first round. With Oladipo that year, the Pacers went 32-16. and Without him, they went 16-18. and If Oladipo never gets injured, I am fairly confident that the Pacers make a run in the playoffs. But due to his injury, we never got to see that happen. Oladipo would return 366 days later to play his first game back against the Chicago Bulls. Oladipo was on a minutes restriction that night, playing only 21 minutes, but in a packed Bankers Life Fieldhouse in front of his mom and 20,000 adoring fans, Victor would hit the game-tying three to send the game into overtime and eventually win. Hutchison, here's a long three by Oladipo! Later, he would cry tears of joy in his post-game interview. I'm just thankful, bro. I'm just thankful. In the games following, Oladipo statistically didn't look very good. All his numbers were down, and he didn't have his first 20-point game until March 10th, which would be the last game the Pacers played before the league would suspend the season due to COVID. But once the Pacers started playing in the bubble, Oladipo would return to semi-normal form, scoring in double figures for all six bubble games he played in. The Pacers would play the Miami Heat in the playoffs and get swept. But Victor Oladipo played great, scoring 20 points in all but one game that series. And in the final game of that series, he would score 25 points, have five steals, five assists, and eight rebounds on good efficiency. But sadly, the Victor Oladipo era in Indy was coming to a close. That offseason, rumors would circulate that Victor Oladipo wanted out of Indy. Oladipo was injured to start the season and wouldn't play until December 23rd. But the Pacers would be a part of a four-team deal with Oladipo going to Houston, Jared Allen going to Cleveland, James Harden going to Brooklyn, and Karis LeVert going to Indianapolis. But in the games leading up to this trade, Victor Oladipo played well. He was averaging 20 points, almost 2 steals, 4 assists, and 5 rebounds a game. But the writing was on the wall and it was clear Oladipo needed to be dealt and the Pacers needed to rebuild. The Victor Oladipo trade led to more than anyone could ever expect though. It led to Victor Oladipo becoming an all-star. It led to DeMontis Sabonis becoming an all-star. And if the Pacers never traded for Karis LeVert, his cancer would have probably gone undiagnosed. And the Pacers would have never made the trade for Tyrese Halliburton, because if they didn't make the original Victor Oladipo trade, they would have never had DeMontis Sabonis in the first place to trade to the Kings. So I think the Oladipo trade went well for Indy. It is sad that the Pacers never made it past the first round when Oladipo was at his peak, and it is sad to see Oladipo still struggling with injuries to this day, but when Victor Oladipo was in his prime, he was a hero to the people of Indiana. He provided us with so many great games. His game winners, his 47 point game, his comeback game against the Bulls, the games where he would come back from 20 or more point deficits like it was nothing. Even though he was only here for a few seasons, Oladipo's name can still be found in the Pacers record books as the all-time leader in points per game. In his time here, there was one thing that was always for sure. No matter what the score is, no matter who they were playing, and no matter what the situation was, you never turned off a game when Victor Oladipo was on the court wearing his iconic number four for the Indiana Pacers. Oladipo to win Another one! He got Another it. one! Oladipo. Another one! Another one! You can see it in the air! I'm Limitless Pulls. Thank you guys for watching this video. I've had a lot of fun making it. it it's been kind of a passion project. It was a vi it was an idea that I came up with and I was just I had to make it because I remember watching Victor Oladipo in his prime and it's just 
it was a great time to be a Pacers fan. It was so enjoyable. I made a video going in depth on the whole team uh, of that era. So if you want to find, if you want to watch more about the team aspect about that era, go watch that video. But I wanted to take a more in-depth look as, at just Victor Oladipo as a player. So yeah, see you guys next time. Never ever would I fold even if my clothes wrinkled. We change single, but this kid'll make a whole meme. You don't make the roster, that throw go make my toes. <laughs>